the crazy Swede is here. And today, I quick thank you all for 10 subscribers. This video was meant to be a long time ago. So yeah, let's just start off with thank you 10 subscribers. And these my top 10 least favorite cars in this game. And number 10, we have the Porsche 918 Spider production version. I don't particularly like this car because we already have one in the game. And as well as that one was the concept of it, I just didn't think we really needed this one in the game. I could have used it for, say, the P1 or the LaFerrari um, concepts. Because then we could have done. Because then we could have had one of them. Because then we could have had the, the, on the P1 or the LaFerrari in this one. And then. have this car when it loads. It is the Porsche Panamera Turbo. This car is hated by everybody. And it is also hated by me. That's why I'm going to attack number nine. The reason why I didn't get turned is because of the minor train and it doesn't even drift that well either. Because it because of its stupid four drive system. And it isn't even a proper Porsche, it's a front engine four-wheel drive one. I know you've got your McDonald's and Caymans and all that, and your Pans and all that, but Porsche Panamera just. Why is it in this game? There's nothing really in this game that rivals it, other than the Yvonne. That is it. So. This car sucks so bad, I'm doing really bad at this, um, thing. So yeah, at it, and this brings me on to number 8. And that brings me on to number 8, which is the BMW M3 GTR. Oh, I didn't put any GTR livery. Hang on. And pause. Alright, uh, this brings me on to number 8, the BMW M3 GTR, and I've got it in the hero livery now. This car features, was featured in Need for Speed Most Wanted 05, and it's part of the Need for Speed Heroes pack, and I get what's in the game. But it just lacks that BMW-ness. It's not really that like. Oops, it's like not that vicious, icy, and scary. I'm not saying the normal one is real, I'm saying the normal one is a pile of rubbish. Because it is. Well, I'm just saying, they could have at least made this handle like it's like it was going to kill you if you try to, if you try to drive it. And it was really tricky. Because it's a GTR, it's meant to be a race car for god damn it. And well that kind of brings me onto number six. And this is number six. The Shelby GT five hundred. And although it's not a bad car to say, it's just not what I expected of it really. Meant to have nostril stop like it did in the re, in the in the, in the move in the um thing on in 60 seconds. Not you have to race to get nos, it's like I expect this thing to have nos because it had nos in the movie. But I reckon the most wanted event for it is just too easy. I did it in a um MP4 dash C which I just put the nose was and it was just too easy. Well the MP4 was Kindly upgrade all it has was um, track tires, and not since then I've upgraded it to Burn Loss Pro. So that means things was just too easy. And well, even though the 12 to is faster than this, it was just like too easy. And then when I shut it down, I was like, so now I get to drive this. 
I know this is a fabulous car. I just don't think it was giving its full credit. And that brings me on to number five. And at number five. Not one, two, three, four. Yeah. At number five, we're halfway through this now. We have the Mitsubishi Evo 10. Or Evolution X. I think this is an absolutely marvellous off-road thread around machine. It is marvellous. I raced this against a... Oh, I can't remember what it was, but I raced it against something online and it didn't lose by that much. I think it was like the, the old 911 that's in this game. It's not only, it's it's fast, but then it's got, in its class it's got front wheel drive, it's got two front wheel drive car, cars in its class. It's got a full focus ST. Uh, no, it's got many, it's got a couple of front wheel drive cars in its class. It's got full focus RS, it's got the Fiesta ST, and it's also got the Audi A1 Club Sport. So, you really think this four-wheel drive beast is going to get beaten by them? No. I mean, yeah, no. But, it does, it gets beaten by one of them, that is the Audi A1 Club Sport. Well, you know, it's the most outrageously upgraded Audi one you can get, but it's just the fact that this is an amazing little car. It is so good in fact, and even I believe that it could even do well at, at racing cars like, 9, like, like a 911 for example. I reckon it could do well at racing by racing the 4C and even the Cobra for that matter. So for that, this car is utterly amazing and that brings me on to number 4. Right, this is number 5, not number 4. Well, 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 the big old truck, the Ford Raptor, or the Ford F100 SV2 Raptor, it's a tank. As I will now demonstrate. Cutscene. As I will now demonstrate, this is an after tank. We're never going to get away in ambushes in it, but if we kill cops, like, I mean, murder them. Yeah, that's if I can find one. Oh well, you're already dead. Might as well just ram you anyway. You're already just sat there dead. So yeah, this is an utter tank. And oh, uh, what? You just despawned. Yeah, I haven't killed any. Oh, you, you don't. You shouldn't have messed with me. Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Go. Run! Yep. So this thing is an utter, utter, utter tank. It will bully cops no matter what. And if you haven't, if you haven't already, I reckon you should get in the Ford Raptor if you have this game. And just go and bully some cops. So it does really well at that. There's no, it is a tank. But as you expect, it's a big old truck in America. So, now we've got that out of the way, brings me on to my next car. Number four. Like I said at the Evo, this is from my drive. Right, coming in at number four, in the Paul Fiesta ST. Although it's a front wheel drive hot hatchback, it's not really bad. For instance, it slides really well for being a front wheel drive car. It's also got a lot going on. Now it's not got that big of an engine on it. When you've got the drift tyre 
tyres on it, like I have, it's really drifty. With normal tyres, it, well, it's just drifty anyway. So yeah, um, you can just do this. Just turn it around. And it's also really good at going off road. And it's just an all around good, fun car. If you just want to flip your ice by doing donuts with red tyres. This car gives me the laughs. Because it's my it's my favourite little hot hatch pointy everyday car. If I was to have a choice between an Evo and one of these, I would have one of these. But these are just small cars that are really good. And even with my four wheel drive on, they might say winter fuck. In England we don't get good winters. So in the old times, I would have one of these. But in the day, it needs to be much more expensive. This is an absolutely fabulous car. And that brings me on to the top three. Number three, here we come. At number three, we have the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. And this car, in this form, with the big, big wing and all the uh, different style of wheels to what you get in the normal GTR. The wing, the bonnet, the bumper, the skirt, side skirts, and the delivery I've chosen. It just makes this car look amazing. And just listen to this. Straight six, or inline six, I don't know it sounds amazing. And that's why this car comes in at number four. Number three even. What am I at my numbers to my numbers today? And that brings me on to number two. So I hope you're ready for this, because I am. At number two we have the Alfa Romeo 4C, let's go into an event. And here we are with the astonishing small car, the Alfa Romeo 4C. This car has made its way into number two because of its sheer fun factor. This car is amazing. Because of its short wheelbase, it's just so easy to throw around. It is just so fun as a steel car. I want to say it. If the McLaren MP4 Adjust for C wasn't either in this game or wasn't even created, this would be my favourite car in the world. But because the MP4 Adjust for C is a thing, it's my second favourite car in the world. And the first place car on this list is, of course, my favourite. I mean, the first place, yeah, first place car on this list is my favourite. McLaren MP4 12C. And let's just do this thing. Well, 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 my favourite car in this game and in the world, the McLaren MP4-12C. And it's just amazing because it is all fast. The acceleration on this thing is mad. Look, there's 80, 90, 100. It, it just blows my mind. It blows my mind how fast this thing is, and it blows my mind that we have ten subscribers and now we have twelve. So let's go and thank you all for subscribing 
stay around to 50 subscribers, then there will be a game featured on this channel, which I will not normally do, because it's not racing. Thank you for 10 subscribers, and this is my number one favourite car in Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Cheers, and goodbye, thank you for 10 subscribers. Goodbye.